Do you feel like despite all your best efforts to lose weight, you always seem to gain it right back? Well, this may be because of the set point theory, according to which your body has a genetically determined weight range that it will fight to maintain. So does this mean that you'll never be able to lose weight no matter what? Here's some info on set point theory and what it means for weight loss. What is set point theory? Simply put, your set point is the weight that your body wants to be at without making any particular effort to maintain. The set point theory states that your body has a genetically and biologically determined weight range and that your body will fight to maintain your weight within that rate weight range and it will do this thanks to a feedback control mechanism. This means that if your weight starts to fall out of that range then your body will do everything it can to get you back in there and the typical range is around from 5 to 20 pounds depending on the person so some people will have a very fluctuating weight while others will easily remain about the same weight and this depends on the width of their set point range. So when your weight falls into your body's preferential weight range, then you won't have to fight to maintain it because your body won't be constantly finding any minor change that you're going to be having in your diet or in your weight. However, when you push your body out of this set point, then your survival mechanisms will kick in and your body will do everything it can to get you back to the safe weight. How does this happen? How does the set point theory control your body weight? So your set point weight range is regulated by a feedback control mechanism. Information regarding your body weight is sent to your brain, specifically your hypothalamus. These signals then modulate your food intake or energy expenditure to correct any deviation from your set point. This process involves hormones such as leptin, ghrelin, and insulin. It's also been shown that the interaction between leptin and the expression of a specific gene dictate your body weight set point. So basically, if you lose enough weight to get out of your set point, then your body will fight to compensate. It can do so in two ways, and it can also do both at once. So the first thing it can do is to increase your appetite. So this will cause you to consume more calories and then to gain the weight back. And another thing it can do is to decrease your metabolism. So if you continue to consume the same amount of calories that you were that you used to consume for body weight maintenance, then you will start to gain weight. And this system will cause your weight to shoot right back up to your optimal weight range. It may fluctuate temporarily, but it will always return to this set range because of this feedback control mechanism. Does it also work this way for weight gain? Well, the regulation of body weight is asymmetric, so it will be easier for weight weight loss than for weight gain. But ideally, if you only eat too much, like say occasionally, then your body will adapt, your hunger will decrease, your metabolism will increase to burn off the extra energy that you consumed, and it basically it's the mechanism in reverse. However, if you ignore these signals often, then your body will end up overpowering the set point mechanism and you'll gain weight anyways. And obviously, this mechanism is much harder to overpower when it comes to weight loss. This may be because because from an evolutionary standpoint, it's seen as riskier to lose too much weight than to gain too much weight. And also it may be because this regulation may be masked by Western diets where people are often out of tune with their hunger cues due to a huge abundance of really calorie dense foods and this may alter their biological control. How to find your set point weight. There's no test to tell you what your set point is, but there are a few ways that you can try to find it naturally. First of all, you need to move away from diet culture and away from losing weight at all costs. And you need to accept that the weight you want, that your desired weight may not be the ideal weight for you and may not be your set point weight. You need to work on building a healthy relationship with food and creating healthy eating habits without letting your weight interfere. I have a few videos to help you with this, one on how to ditch diet culture, and I have a few others that I will be linking in the description as well. It's also important to turn to more mindful and intuitive eating. Intuitive eating is an evidence-based approach that promotes a healthy relationship with food, and it focuses on your body's internal hunger cues instead of listening to outside rules and regulations. It's really a personal process of honoring your health by listening to your body signals in order to meet your needs and it's really not another diet or food plan instead it, it aims to to free you from this 
toxic diet culture. And if you're interested about intuitive eating, I have a whole intuitive eating playlist here or in the description. Intuitive eating also means eating mindfully in order to regain control over your eating habits. It means really being aware of what you eat and taking the time to eat in a healthy and balanced way. And the goal is to tune into your hunger cues in order to know when to eat and when to stop and when you're hungry, when you're full, etc. And it's really focused on your food and not on any other distractions. And if you're more interested about mindful eating, I made a video about it right here. So once you free yourself from countless dieting cycles, once you build a healthier relationship with food, and once you turn to more mindful and intuitive eating, you will naturally fall within your optimal weight range and you will find the set point that is right for you. It may fluctuate a bit depending on the circumstances, but it should stay in that optimal range quite easily without making too much effort to maintain it. Can you change your set point? The case might be that you're also not really interested in finding your current set point. All you want to do is lose weight and want to know if it's possible to change your set point so that the weight loss is actually possible. The good news is it actually is. It may take some time, a lot of time, but you can kind of modulate your set point. In order to do so, you really need to lose weight slowly over a very long period of time so that you're not fighting against your body's tendency to maintain your set weight. It's recommended not to lose more than 10% of your body weight at a time. If you lose more, then your body will start to fight back. And like we discussed before, your metabolism will decrease, your hunger will increase, and then it will be really, really difficult to maintain the weight that you lost and let alone lose more. It's recommended not to lose more than one to two pounds a week. And if you want to learn more about why you shouldn't lose weight too fast, then you can check out the video I made about that right here or in the description. And if you're interested in all of my sources as well as usual, they are in my blog post in the description. So in order to change your set point gradually, it's much better to lose one pound every week over a few months and so that you're able to lose the pounds that you want to lose. And to do that, instead of losing like five pounds the first week and then seven pounds the next week and then gaining everything back again because you've been restricting yourself too much and your set point is still the same. It's important to be persistent in maintaining the weight you lose so that your body will ad adapt and your set point will adjust. You also really need to give yourself time to adjust your eating habits gradually. You, you can't go from eating a mountain of processed foods for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner to eating two salads a day and that will never work in the long run. In order to succeed, the best thing you can do is to learn the basics of nutrition and make yourself delicious home-cooked meals with healthy ingredients, learn to eat mindfully, build a better relationship with food, and really care for your body. Exercise is also very important during this process as it can help boost your metabolism a bit. And I wrote an article on the link between exercise and nutrition and weight loss. If you're interested, it will be in the description. Also, make sure to check out my healthy eating for beginners video right here. It covers the basics on nutrition, healthy eating, building a healthy relationship with food, and all of that. So the set point theory states that you have a genetically and biologically determined weight range that your body will fight to maintain. And this makes losing weight pretty difficult. But it is possible to change your set point by losing weight really slowly and gradually. And you can do this by learning the basics of nutrition, by making healthy and delicious balanced meals, home-cooked meals, by eating mindfully, by exercising, and by watching all of my videos. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.